Hello, my name is Connie Shi. I'm a software engineer working on Material U. Material U is the next evolution of material design, which we announced last year. It's a radical new design vision focused on delivering styles that are uh, experiences that are personal for every style, accessible for every need, and adaptive for every screen. Historically, apps have been one size fits all. Everyone got the same colors, the same contrast, and the same text size. Not surprisingly, different users want and need different uh, things from their apps. Some people need very high color contrast, while others want a style that matches their mood. Material 3 is the first step towards making apps not only functional, but also comfortable, whether you're colorblind, need a screen reader, or currently obsessed with pink. <laughs> so the Compose uh, Material 3 Jetpack Library is an implementation of Material U based on the Material 3 design system. The first stable release has just been launched, so now it's a great time to start using it in your apps. <laughs> Thank you. Let's look at some key features of uh, Compose Material 3. So the library has new features like dynamic color, as well as updated theming and components. The updated theming system gives you more flexibility in expressing your brand. It's also designed to be cohesive with the latest OS uh, visual style and system UI, so your app feels right at home on Android 12, 13, and beyond. The foundation of a color scheme is a set of key colors, primary, secondary, tertiary, error, and neutral. The color scheme provides a set of colors needed uh, for expressing interaction states, errors, and accessible contrast. The type scale contains text styles with simplified naming based on use and size. The shape scale defines the style of component corners, offering a range of roundness from square to fully circular. You can connect these in the material theme composable to brand your app. We recommend using the material theme builder tool to generate color schemes derived from your brand's colors and export a composed theme. Dynamic color is a key personalization feature of Material U. Starting with Android 12, users can generate and visualize color schemes through wallpaper selection. To implement a dynamic color scheme in Compose, start by checking the build version SDK. If dynamic color is not available, we can fall back to using a light or dark color scheme as before. To implement. <laughs> Sorry. Here we can see a sample app's dynamic color scheme adapt to the wallpaper selection of a user. Compose Material 3 also includes a variety of updates to components like buttons, chips, dialogues, and switches. These updates use the new Material 3 theming values and include fresh new updates to each component specification. We also um, updated the app bars and navigation components, so now they have built-in window inset support. The library provides four types of top five bars, default, formerly known as small, center aligned, medium, and large. When scrolled, the top five bars fill with a contrasting color to provide visual separation from the content beneath. The library also has composables for navigation bar, formerly known as bottom navigation and rail, as well as three variants of navigation drawer, modal, dismissible, and permanent. In Material 3, the navigation drawer is decoupled from the scaffolds. There's also a new drawer sheet component to allow easier customization of the drawer content. Using the navigation components together with the Material 3 window size class API allows you to define the right navigation based on the available screen size. There are a variety of other updates to components in Compose Material 3. To get a full overview of the components and how to use them, check out the API reference on developer.android.com. It's a great time to use Compose Material 3 in your Android apps, and we've prepared tools to help you get started. First, all new Android Studio projects will use Material 3 by default. We've also updated the Material Theme Adapter Library and the Material Theme Builder tool. 
Next, there are new guides on Material 3 and migrating from Material 2, as well as associated code labs. Lastly, the Compose samples and the Compose Material Catalog app have also been updated. To learn more about building with Material U, please check out these talks. Thank you.